Alright, since Bracing Angel Ladder is staying in that prize, we're gonna talk about it. Aiden, and this is the VG Punk channel. Let's just get it out of the way. Bracing Angel Ladder is a good card. If you already have it, your investment is not unrewarded. If you're on the fence about getting it, maybe don't. It is a good card. It's a great car, but it is not needed, not even competitively necessary. Let's go over the car effect, even though I have the car on the screen, but we all know card game player can't read. Racing Angel Ladder, or I'm probably just gonna call it Angel Ladder from now on, is a Regalius piece normal order. You can only activate it once per game and the effect allow you to draw a card, give your vanguard 5k, and your rear guard basically gain immunity for the turn and the opponent's turn. The boogeyman that hyped up Angel Ladder in the standard format is obviously Sharanui. Having Angel Ladder will not give you an advantage over Sharanui. Before Angel Ladder came out, Sharanui took up half if not more of the pie chart. After Angel Ladder came out, Sharanui did dip a little bit. If I remember it correctly, it'll be down to around 40% of the pie chart. Sure, I might contribute some of that to Angel Ladder, taking it down a couple of notches, but I say most of the work actually belonged to one of the new deck that came out in the same set as Angel ladder which is Luhan. From what I can see Luhan have pretty good early game that allow them to go toe to toe with um, Sharanui but of course Sharanui still dominate the meta because it got some consistency over Luhan. All of this to say having one turn of immunity with Angel ladder will not win you the game. Most of the time it's just prolonged the inevitable. Any deck that aren't meta already before Sharanui won't become meta just because you slot in one card. If that's what's the case, holy shit. Now that y'all are heated as fuck, Angel Ladder gonna go down in price in a couple of weeks when the Boogeyman is getting a spot in the ban list. Now, based off of what the Japanese have, Shirinui will not be able to be played with the Dragon Empire over Trigger. Sure, you can say that we may not have the same ban list as Japan, but along with the ban list, JP also got a rule change regarding all of the stride decks, including Sharanui. No shot that JP get a rule change that warp how you built a deck and we don't get it. This rule change is so much more impactful than the ban list to Sharanui. But of course, all of this is in regards to the standard format. Besides Sharanui, other meta decks only touch rear guards here and there, not enough for Angel Ladder to matter. And all of this is assuming that you even draw Angel Ladder at the right time. Now, in regards to premium format angel ladder have some mild usage it is an order though so i say that it's pretty hard to find a slot to put it in because it's not a warm body that you can put onto the field to attack or help you multi-attack in any way basically doesn't do anything for you except defensive capability if a premium deck focus on rear guards attacking or focus on a certain rear guards that need to be on the field. If they're meta decks, they should already have a way of finding more copy of that car, protecting that car in some way, because if they really need Angel Ladder to protect them, I really don't think that deck have any meta appearance in any way. Now one niche situation I would think Angel Ladder be kind of useful in is when you really don't like your opponent interrupting your play. Cards such as Denial Griffin, Brilliant Blister, or Hetero Round Dragon, those kind of cards where it interrupt you mid attack. I guess Angel Ladder would counter those, but do remember that you are giving up limited spot in the main deck to play a card that is pretty niche. Not all decks have access to these battle phase interrupter. In conclusion, Bracing Angel Ladder is a good card but it is not a necessary card to buy. Even if you're a competitive player, it doesn't move your winning strategy forward. It only help you survive one turn more. One of the decks that it's slightly counter is getting neuter soon. So if you're really hard pressed on playing Angel Ladder, I say wait a month or two more. It has little to no significant in premium, but that's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure there'll be a limited amount of people out there that disagree with that. Like I said before, if you're really on the fence about getting 
getting that car. I hope this video helped you choose otherwise because I really don't think that car is worth it. In fact, you can use that money to go f buy Forbidal. I think that's a much more worthwhile car. It is an amazing car. That's, I don't think it's even $60 right now. It's much less than that. <laughs> Go like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I rarely sugarcoat my opinion when talking about people being stupid in regards to Vanguard. Go touch grass, soak in the fresh air, remember to take care of yourself, and I'll be seeing you real soon, my love.